You want to be a guardian angel? You want those? Those are his wings. Do you think that I wanted to end up on someone's Christmas tree? A talking decoration. I'm an angel. I'm here on a trial basis, but if I do a good job, I get my wings. Karen Abercrombie, uh, such an honor to get to spend some time with you today and hear about your latest film on Pure Flix. How are you? Uh, I am well. Thank you for having me. I'm grateful to be here. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so tell me about this film. And obviously you keep coming back to these faith-based uh, movies. So we'll talk about that in just a, a little bit. But tell me what drew you to this latest one that's on Pure Flix that I understand you helped write as well. Yes, I was one of the co-writers. It is a charming little movie, family friendly, fun, uh, yet with a, a powerful message of forgiveness running through it. Forgiveness, hope and healing. It's called Angelic Christmas. Hmm. I am an angel and I'm down here trying to uh, earn my wings. And uh, I've got a family that I've been assigned to and my being able to get my wings uh, depends on how good I do uh, in this assignment. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a charming journey, you yeah. know, for Celeste, my angel. And um, yeah, loving, touching story. Well, and from my understanding, too, the, the theme of this uh, is forgiveness and it how important is that is about, you know, around the holidays as well. Absolutely. Touch on that and, and kind of what you your message that you would like for people to, to understand about forgive, forgiveness. Uh, forgiveness is so very important. Um, it's healthy and forgiveness. It frees us from being bound up to whatever the infraction or the individual was, it can stop you in your tracks, yeah. stop you from progressing. And many of the things that God wants to download or he's holding for you, he can't give it to you because there's no space. Yeah. We're so filled up with that anger and unforgiveness. You just block up. So he can't pour in and, um, just open the door to some of the blessings and uh, even answer prayers that we have been uh, taking to him, wanting from him. So yeah, healing yeah. so important to our moving on and past whatever may have hurt us or yeah. You said that key word, answer to prayer, and that is my lead in. We talked a little bit uh, before we got started about the war room and what a life changing experience that was for you. And of course, that role, Miss Clara, is one um, that really I think is having such an impact still today, even though the movie uh, is a couple years old now. Tell me about that experience. And I would imagine it was life changing uh, for you. Oh, absolutely. Um... To know who I am and where I came from and be given the gift mm -hmm. of playing the role of uh, Miss Clara, having the opportunity to spread the word, the message about prayer, not only here, but around the world, such an honor, yeah. such a privilege. And it also allowed me to understand God's love and his forgiveness mm. deeper, wider, higher than I had before. And it will, for many reasons, be my favorite movie because it changed my life in many ways. It's one of the reasons I'm talking to you today. Um, after I played Miss Clara, everybody reached out to me wanting me to play their version of Miss Clara, but I'm a classically trained actress and, um, it became quite frustrating, <laughs> you know, <laughs> grateful for the offers, you know, but it was frustrating and I was like, okay, God, yes. you know, you've given me this, this gift. I can do just about anything. Thank you. But help me do that. 
And so what I had to end up doing is something I'd never even considered before I um, started writing, writing pieces and then praying for God to uh, provide funding so that I could do projects. Yeah. And then he did. Aww. And even in that, he showed me that he had more for me than I could ever imagine. So I am now several films in, and um, that is also a reason I had the opportunity to produce and uh, co-write on this Angelic Christmas movie that's um, a Pure Flix original. Yeah. You know, we were talking earlier and, and we were talking about your faith story, and I love that you know, you were telling me that there was this moment where you said, God, just let me, you know, just use me, you know, let, you know, use my gifts. Tell me more a, a little bit about that, because I think that's so important when we get to that place, when we fully surrender and you just touched on it too, is God can do so much more than what we even think he can do. Yeah. Yeah. Above and beyond. Um, I had gone to a, a women of faith conference with a girlfriend of mine. First one I had ever gone to. And in between the different women, just downloading goodness, you know, giving their 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 messages, there was an actress, Nicole Johnson, who would do monologues and scenes. And I had never seen anything like this before. And I was like, whoa, whoa, God, you know, wow, you know, um, God, if you would just allow me to use the gifts that you've given me. Like she is, I'll give you everything that I have, everything that I am. Now, I didn't want to be Nicole, but I did want to use the gifts that he had given me in excellence the way she was. And uh, things automatically started changing several years later. Um, he opened up a door for me to play this Miss Clara role. And that's, that's a longer um, um, testimony, but just as powerful how he did it all of the breadcrumbs so yeah. intentional it would blow your mind but i will say this that uh the kendrick brothers they were down to two weeks two weeks before the cameras were starting would start on war room priscilla shire she would play elizabeth tc stallings he was going to play tony and they still had not found anyone to play Miss Clara. They had interviewed and auditioned well-known gospel singers, actresses from Hollywood and other places. But every and they're praying people, the Kendrick brothers. They don't mess around. They are praying people. So they would pray, and God kept telling them no. And it's all because it was time for my heavenly father hmm. to answer the prayer that I had put up to him. That day, 13 years prior at that Ugh. Women's Faith Conference. Oh, girl. I know. You yes. bring in tears. I got goosebumps. Yes. I can smell. Yes. So his timing, I will tell your people, any listener, is always perfect. It is hard to wait. Yeah. It is so hard to wait. But, you know, I look back and I know me. <laughs> Yeah. So I know that I needed some refining and some stretching and some molding <laughs> and some bending and some lessons so that I would be out of his way. Yeah. Karen, so I've like your story is that. my story. So I've I've battled, you know, infertility and I've I've been in so many seasons of waiting where you're going, God, oh, what are you doing? Why are you making me wait? But that's when he grows you. And I always, it, to me, it's like spiritual muscles now is, is oh, what you're Oh, yes. With. I'm a Hannah too. That's another <laughs> testimony. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking callous on my knees. No, I <laughs> know. Why, why not me? Why not me? But he, he's faithful, girl. He is faithful. Oh. As you know, he is faithful. Our God is yes. faithful. Hey, you brought up Priscilla. I do want to bring her up, though. She's one of, you know, I've done so many of her studies and, and uh, certainly just absolutely love her. Do you still keep in touch with her? And, I, I do. Mean... <laughs> I do. Yeah. I'm thinking yeah, we she... might need another project between y'all again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Could be something brewing in the background. Well, and I do need to ask, what's next for you in 2023? Anything you're looking forward to? 
Well, a couple of other things. I have something running right now on uh, Amazon Prime. It's a piece that I created called Angels Unaware. And it's it's very interesting. And I believe that it will be a, a, a very useful um, tool in spreading the word because it's, it's different. It's like not, not necessarily sci-fi, but say uh, it, it's certainly spiritual, you know, because sometimes we have movies and we as um, uh, believers are afraid to approach that. But I mean, you've got the Holy Ghost, you've got the Holy Spirit. So anyway, yeah. it, there's a story about an angel, a made up um, archangel named Eden that God sends down to earth who will encounter people at times in their lives when they're about to make a decision that not, will not only impact greatly their life, uh, probably for the negative and, and, and so many others. And as I was mentioning before, we're so closely interlinked. We don't even realize how important we are to yeah. each other for so yeah. many reasons. But anyway, uh, so I come down and my brother is here. The Prince of Darkness, Lucifer. <laughs> he is my brother. And... <laughs> He makes a statement. He says, you know, I don't care about what I did, trying to take over heaven, trying to be God. The only thing I miss is you. So I am his weakness. And I don't know. I can't say too much. Will yeah. I start to cave in to that missing my brother? I don't know. I won't say. But um, <laughs> the pilot episode anyway is playing on Amazon Prime and we're working in the background to secure funding to turn it into a series. And um, the other thing is uh, Pure Flix so graciously uh, assisted me in cru uh, producing um, a romantic comedy. Ooh, it's I like it. it. It is funny, and it's a lot of fun, and it's family well, friends. You are a lot of fun. I'm, I'm getting word that you have to go and do another interview, uh, Karen. Oh, okay. I just need more time with you. We need to go oh. get coffee sometime. I'm just okay, telling that's you, okay. I love you, and I want to hear more about uh, your future projects later, and again, more about right. your faith testimony. Okay, wonderful. Learn. Listen, Karen, big thanks to you, sister. All right. You as well. God bless, Karen. You too, baby. Bye. I have to pass this 